Hey everyone, welcome to another week. This week, our blog is our real estate portfolio and review part two. And specifically, we cover our 32 unit purchase this year, and then also our 13 unit or 12 slash 13 unit that we bought with a partnership. That's right. And uh, in the uh, podcast this week, uh, we have Jimmy Turner, uh, who is the physician philosopher. Uh, and we talk about how uh, mindset really has helped him and his new uh, coaching business. And then in the SRMD side, we actually did something called business results training as a team this week. It was really fun because actually what we all did was we filled out something called a DIS personality test, which is a free personality test online. And then we could kind of see how each of us communicate and where our strengths are and maybe where our, some of our challenges are in communicating with each other. Um, and it was pretty enlightening. It was really, really fun to see different members of the team and and what just personality they are and, um, and then just to make our team function better because of it. Yeah. And also, I think it also has a really imp uh, strong impact on hiring too. Like, you know, you want to have a well-rounded team. You don't want everybody to have the same personality type. You want to have, uh, you know, a lot of different uh, personality types and communication styles. And I think that that was a really, really great training for sure. Uh, and then on the uh, real estate front, uh, I've been working a lot on processes and systems. Uh, and uh, one of the things that I'm doing is working on a project management software to track all the different projects. Uh, you know, this is really important as you scale up, you really need to have these systems and processes in place uh, in order to kind of make sure you stay on track with all the different projects that are going on. Also, uh, you know, I want to have a metrics driven organization. So one of the things that we're doing is following our metrics, uh, following, for example, our profit and a number of other different metrics uh, that are very important uh, and then taking action as a result of those metrics. Uh, so uh, again, uh, I think it's really important as you scale up to, to do these things. Uh, so you're running an effective uh, rental business. Yeah, it made a big difference for us on this semi-retired MD side as well to use project management software mm -hmm. and just to be able to take some of those to-do lists that are like on your mind all the time and actually put them in there and assign you know people to them and dates and then to be able to track progress it's huge so even though his real estate portfolio is you know pretty much Kenji um, just getting that stuff out of your brain is mm -hmm. a huge deal it is it's a huge deal and also you know let the project management software do some of the thinking and the reminders you know you can kind of set dates for when you want to do something so it'll send you a reminder and so yeah just getting it out of my head was a was a big kind of relief actually so yeah and it'll allows me to also track what's going on too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Um, and then in our personal life this week, we made it out uh, sledding in the mm -hmm. snow, in the mountains, and it was really, really fun. We, uh, yeah, Kenji likes to say we started a trend because we explored <laughs> a new hill um, that nobody was at and started sledding and then like probably 50, 75 yeah, people it was, joined it was us. crazy how many cars lined up after we started doing it. And it was just, uh, yeah, it was, we definitely started a trend. <laughs> Well, hopefully all of you are having a fabulous week and we'll see you next week.